Hello everyone, it's Seth Spawn here, and welcome back to episode 13 of my Rome Circle 2.5 Pontus Let's Play. We just ended off losing Tarsus to the Celestids because they had elephants. So, our plans for this episode is to take Tarsus back, and we established a early warning fort system around here to hopefully prevent this kind of situation from happening again, so we're going to make eight of these, well let's see, I don't know, they're not really intended to stay on their own, so they're not going to be very strong, but I can always disband them later. We're going to make eight units of Greek slingers here to man these forts. And if I could train archers here, I would. You know what? I'll just train them elsewhere, because the archers will have um, fire arrows. And I think the main purpose of the forts, besides just the lane, will be to actually try to kill those elephants maybe before they reach our city. So I put an archer unit and a skirmisher unit or two in each fort. And that should be pretty low upkeep. But, um, yeah. Let's get ready for that, and we'll go ahead and bring this army down this way. Sorry, got interrupted there for a second. We're going to go ahead and bring this army down here. And do I have a scout in the area? No, I think the closest one I have is right over here. I don't think they have anything else over here that I saw. Nope. Okay, well... Tarsus will be ours soon enough. Let's go ahead and besiege it. I don't have my catapults down here. Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh, I really, really, really hope that they don't get a garrison for a city that they literally just took for me when I besiege it. I will be extremely frustrated if they do. That would make no sense. But, you know, whatever. Okay, we've got another army right over here on this bridge. Oh, it's not actually on the bridge. Cool. But I think we're going to go take care of that. <clears throat> it's a pretty decent army, but I'll be able to take care of it just fine. And let's go ahead and fight this out. Alright, army set up, battle started here, let's get to work. Looks like they started pretty close to me. It's right around here, uh, must be their general. And everyone else is probably hidden in the forest here, but I can't imagine them being too far away from their general. I am going to come around from this angle here because I don't feel like marching through the forest and getting stuck fighting in there so we'll just triple speed it here <sighs> right. I'm ready to get some vengeance for Tarsus oh and they are kinda coming out towards me so let's get my slinger set up and get a volley off really quickly if I have time Okay, time to pull these guys back. Right now, please. Alright, let's get him trapped in here before he has time to run away. Oh crap, I didn't pull back the middle ones. It's alright, they haven't taken very many casualties yet. And Dev General should be dead any moment. Yep, he's already routing. Perfect. And their hype is pissed to retreating, so let's shoot them in the back. Let's see. There goes their general. Alright, good. 
Are they retreat? They can't retreat all the way. I pushed them back once already, I think. Anyways, you guys pull back. Get everyone relined up here and re-push them. Alright, I'm gonna get out of group here. What the? Oh, I hate that. It re-messes up my troop order that I had. There we go. Alright. Okay, these hypers bits are just getting shredded by my archers, so that's no big deal. They're not going to be a threat. And we'll just use my slingers here to annihilate these Palmyra and Phalangites. They're getting a couple kills in this unit right here, but that's not even... Not even a big deal. I'm going to just retrain them after this battle anyways. Okay, now they are bringing that unit to interfere so I'm gonna rush these guys up as well as this unit and we're just going to put them right in the way if they get here in time at least regardless let's go ahead and open fire here mm. And this unit should be getting shredded, yep. Three units of slingers in the back can not be good for your health. And they're running. Let's just keep shooting them for a second, but we'll get my cavalry ready to give chase. And, oh, there we go, that's the battle guys, so I'll see you at the results screen. Alrighty. That was a pretty easy victory, but I wasn't really expecting anything different. Clear victory. 27 losses. No biggie. <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm recording late after work again. I have tomorrow off, so I'm going to try to get a couple more episodes recording. But I should have... um. Episode 11 is actually uploading as we speak. It should be done within a few minutes. So I'm putting them out at a pretty good rate after my extended absence. Not that you guys aren't used to that by now if you're still watching from the beginning. Mm. Alright, just back to Antioch. Retrain everyone who needs to be retrained. And I'm going to go ahead and actually hold off on these guys and just wait I can't build city and skirmishers here nope ah uh, Aiken Tistyle will do the job for those forts Let's just build about six of them and now my leftover money can be used for buildings let's whoa lag let's go to home Asia here we're just going to go into the level 3 temple complex and Satala. You are still unhappy with me. I, I try so hard, Satala. You're just never satisfied. Okay, I'll just give you a regional focus. That's the rest of my money, but I'm not really worried about that. Um, as for everything else, My Lord. we're definitely not declaring war on the Ptolemies right now. Thank you, Seleucids. But uh, I think, assuming there's no garrison that pops up, we will take this next turn and then probably just march right on Hierapolis here and sack that city as well. I mean, if they're going to just keep being jerks we'll just get a buffer of cities we don't really care about and like maybe take that in Damascus I mean first of all they're rich and second of all they'll be good buffers against any further invasions by the Seleucids and hopefully they'll go after them first 
in which case we'll just be able to use a defense in depth and get there before they get to any of the cities that really matter to us. So, with that, let's go ahead and end the turn. I'm going to make a quick save. I think I forgot to give him his army back, but oh well. And let's see what happens here. Okay. Yes, Stratigos. Yes, Stratigos. Yes, Stratigos. Right, it did not retrain the Thurifora yet, so let's get that going. And you guys go up here. Let's see. Where are your Chalkaspides? Er, no, that's with the other army, isn't it? They're down here. Uh huh. Confusing myself. So, what are we missing here? Looks like the rest of my cavalry. My cavalry are... Oh, so... Actually, I took a little extra. I think. I'm confused now. My lord. I know all four of these go here. But obviously... We have an extra unit. Maybe one of these guys? I th yeah, I think we did have four and four. So, you go here. And you guys go here. And you just go back in here. And I think that's correct. We'll uh, reorganize that in a little bit. Ah, oh, they did get a freaking garrison. That's just not cool. Not even a little bit. Well, Antioch. Go ahead and retreat training. Do they ever run out of troops to send me? At least they're not sending them in big armies, I guess, but... Whatever. Alright. So. You... I'd love to make a fort right here if this bridge wasn't currently in use. I think we will... Do we have an extra general sitting around anywhere? You. Good. You'll take an escort Sir. with you. Nothing too major. I'm not too worried. Sir. And head down here. And you'll start setting up some fortifications along our borders. And then we'll just keep all these heltists up here for now. Okay, let's see what they got. Good lord. Yeah, I'm probably just going to have to hold out until they sally out and then kill them all that way. That's just not cool. But hey, I guess it makes the game a little more challenging. We'll get over it. Let's spend our money. Apamea, you need some stuff. What stuff shall I give you? Wow, it's still only at 130 after giving it wells. We may end up destroying that communal tribute if things get too bad, but for now we'll keep it. And give you a Shrine of Apollo. Heraclea. Wow, you're pretty happy. So I'm not gonna... well, let's go and build you wells. That'll help your public order even more, and help your growth, which is pretty low. So nope. 
Just going to give you another temple here to Hera this time. And Satala. Yeah, we have a little small rebel army here. I'll probably just auto battle that here in a second. Satala. Let's give you a level 2 Temple of Hera there. And yeah, that's just some slingers, so we'll auto-resolve that. Lost one guy. Uh, looks like a unit of the Tarantine Cavalry. Not a whole unit of them, just one out of the unit. So we'll retrain in Trapezus. You will be first priority for building next turn. Because you're not even growing, and you didn't have anything built this turn. Okay. <sighs> well, I guess that's time to end that turn. What should I do with my other army? Should I just go ahead and leave him here just in case? I'm... Pergamon is not attacking yet, but as soon as I move both my armies all the way away, they're going to do something. It's just the law of the universe at this point. So, we'll wait. We'll see what happens. If the Seleucids bring something big up while we're besieging Tarsus, then we will go ahead and bring that army down if we have to, but let's end the turn for now. <sighs> the Ptolemies have a... Oh, nice. They must have kicked that... Um, No, they didn't kick the army away. It just left, and now they're there. But that's okay. They're allied with us still, so... That's actually just fine with me. Uh, I really don't like the Seleucids having Tarsus there, but what can you do? Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and build a watchtower here. I don't... Oh, it didn't even fix what I wanted it to fix. I don't like having some of our land in shadows. Can't see if there's rebels or enemy armies there. Anyways, we could spend quite a bit of money just getting the next level of farms, but that would just give us a tiny bit more population growth, so it's really not worth it. We could go ahead and do the population measures, growth measures, which I think is what we'll do there. That still leaves us a little bit of money to play with. Sinope and Mazika and Apamea can all build, as well as Antioch and Laodice. What? Wow, they actually lose units building this army base here. That is weird. So that's not going to be built for a while. We do have access to a much wider array of units down here in Antioch now. I'm not going to do anything with that at the moment, but that is good to have. And I might honestly have to make them an autonomous city at this point. I don't know. We can put them to medium taxes, and they're okay for now, but they're going to get another 10% drop on this from Squalor, as well as probably losing some garrison bonus due to the increased population. So we'll keep them low for now. About another thousand out of my income, so I'll really have to fix that here soon. Let's just go ahead and give them a temple to Athena, or a shrine to Athena. Laodicea, government determination for now. Apamea, you will get something. Just a shrine of Hera here as well. And Tarsus have fun starving. The Seleucids are bringing little tiny armies up this way, but if they try anything funny, say oh, it's Satala, I have my army right over here, so I'm actually going to... Wait, no, that's the wrong one. I'm going to move him a little bit this way just so he's a little closer into um, range to respond to any attacks there. Huh. 
looks like the Seleucids are still holding out down here, so these Ptolemies are kind of behind enemy lines here, but they could just be trying to get to their settlements over here. So, I know there wasn't any action really that turn, but that's probably going to be the end of it. Let's see if we can't build anything with a little bit of money we have left. Give you a Shrine of Hair as well. I guess everyone's getting Shrine of Hair this turn. And a Shrine of Dionysus. Perfect. That's all my money. So let's end the turn. Okay, they're going to give us a field battle. We even have the little Ptolemy army here as reinforcements, not that we'll need them. But, um, sure, let's go for it. They're going to have some elephants on us, as well as most of that garrison army still, since we didn't have a chance to starve them out. But I will definitely take a field battle any day. You can even hear me right now, my mouse isn't moving. Oh god, my frame rate is shit. Okay. Um, this is interesting, it looks like we're going to have a battle in a blizzard. So, let's go ahead and set up somewhere. Now... The smaller force is going to be right over here with the larger force probably coming, I'd imagine, right about from over here. If not, they're going to be in the corner that way. And let's see. We have a couple possible options. We could go straight for this army over here and try to wipe them out and then turn around and face the other army or we could set up somewhere and just try to take them both on or we could just try to guess where they are and go after the reinforcements but I'm not 100% confident where they're coming from I mean I have a good idea of where it'll likely be so I don't know. I'll think on it and I'll get back to you when I'm set up. Okay guys, um... This is fucking weird. Okay, now I think it's recording. So, hopefully we don't lose this whole battle. Yay! Perhaps is just being really weird right now. I'm not sure what the deal is. But what I decided to do is I am going to go for the smaller army first, but I kind of deployed way over here on the right. That way, I hopefully shouldn't be sandwiched by the uh, reinforcing army as they come in if I'm slow for whatever reason. But uh, let's go ahead and start the battle here. Hopefully it stops being laggy here very soon, because the frame rate right now is terrible. And it seems to be freezing. I think I may have something like a, a maintenance check thing that popped up in the background. So I'm actually going to go check and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I am back. And it's instant for you, I know. But that was about 15 minutes of sheer utter annoyance for me. It was a um, hardware diagnostic test that my computer does once a month. And... It is absolutely mind-numbingly annoying because it slows everything down on my computer to a crawl, including the task manager, and it takes about five minutes to shut down once you actually get it to respond, and it, that takes about five, ten minutes, so. Regardless, you don't want to hear about that, you just want to watch me kill people, so time to go kill people. I'm just happy that we are back recording. Okay. No triple speed. They're just being nice and marching right at me. I like it. Let me go ahead and run them forward. I just want to kill them quickly. They are going back in that corner, so I'm glad I went for them first, because I probably would have guessed wrong and gone for the side. Alright, now, let's see. I'm just going to kind of try for a quick knockout punch in this army. So 
you guys, attack them. And all of them need to turn their fire at will off. So I don't want to waste too many javelins here. You as well, archers. Do not waste your javelins. Alrighty, this should be just a really quick battle. Okay, good, those are routing. Let's finish this general and get a charge going here. In the meantime, we're going to bring the general over this way. Go, these hypus bits are already broken. Hypus bits, I can't really talk right now for whatever reason. Perfect General's dead, I'm not even going to worry about his bodyguard. Those Hypospists are still just fighting to the death, so let's make some space for them to run away here. Perfect. Alright, we're just going to back up, rearrange my infantry to get ready for this next army, and let my cavalry chase down their routing units. Only frightened rabbits running from our men. Okay. Good. Oops. You guys come this way. Alright guys, I'm just going to reset my army up and I'll get back to you when the other Seleucid army is a little closer and something's going to happen. Alright guys, the Seleucids are kind of disorganized here. They've sent some infantry and their elephants forward, but the rest of their army, for the most part, is still way back in the back. So I'm not sure what their plan was there, except for, I mean, you know, if they want to sacrifice their elephants to me, I am all for that. So everyone needs to run and get in position right now, but their elephants' days are looking pretty numbered if this is their strategy here. So I just need to put everyone in guard mode here and get my skirmishers around the flanks here and my chalcospides, yeah should be able to hold pretty well there oh no, those are just allied phalangites, those thracites are getting trashed, but besides that, oh wow and they're running amok, perfect so please run back towards their army, not mine, for the love of god oh god, go away, go away, okay well, that unit got crushed, but the good news is, they're dead. I said, they're dead. Good. Okay. So, you are not going to go here. You are going to go here. Basically, my line just shrunk by one unit. Kind of sucks, but they lost a better unit than I did, so, whatever. Um, you guys get back over here. My Ptolemaic allies are not playing this very smart, but what are the Seleucids doing? They're just everywhere. Like, I think I should just go ahead and split my... Well, not, not split my guys up, but take their army out piecemeal while it's split up because that's suicidal what they're doing just let me get my army reformed here really quickly and I definitely will uh, take advantage of this
Okay, so this isn't going to be a perfect formation here, but I don't really care. Everyone just get into place and I just guess just move straight ahead here and take care of this main clump. We'll see what the cell suits do. Alright, just move on up guys. That's allies there. Allies there. Okay. I really don't know what they were planning. Like, if they were smart, they would just send this group forward at me and then sneak those guys around the flanks, but the AI is just sending them back around, so all they did was tire their troops out. But I... you can only expect so much from the AI, but that's pretty... pretty stupid. Either way, I'll be happy to uh, take them out piecemeal here. This will make this battle much easier on me. <sighs> Alright, archers. What do they got here? Let's take their archers out of the picture. Their Syrian archers are pretty good, and I'd like to minimize the damage they do. Oh, let's take uh, fire arrows off. And they seriously do not know what they're doing. I mean, I, do, I don't think they can withdraw. I'm pretty sure if they withdraw, they die. So, I mean, I hope they try. That would be amazing, really. The free garrison they got would just literally disintegrate. Alright, I'm going to send one unit over here to help out there. They're going to throw their javelins here. They're going to throw their javelins here. Take guard mode off while we're at it. You go ahead and throw your javelins here. You guys move up. Okay. Actually, you guys just kind of line up right here. Cavalry, head around this flank here. You fill in this gap. Head that way. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and move my archers a little closer to the rest of my units because they are sneaking some units this way. Okay. So you guys start fighting them right there. Let's give you some Thoroughphoroi versus my Thrakatai. This should not go well for them. Besides the fact that my cavalry are here. That's just extra pain. Alright, now these lucid units over here look like they could become a threat, so let's go ahead and send these guys around this way to engage. Now I think their archers are all pretty much... Well, some of them are still alive, but probably not for much longer with my cavalry here. So let's cancel that attack order. and let's kill these guys before they become too much of a threat see if we can't just get a quick route here going okay perfect you guys come around here let's check back this way good Let's get a quick strike right here, and we're going to swing the rest of this infantry around like that. Okay, this battle is pretty disjointed thanks to the Seleucid's erratic deployment, but it's pretty darn successful so far here. What are they doing? Ah, uh, that's not important. They just had a tiny little contingent anyways. Not really that useful to us. Alright, we should be able to get a chain route going here. 
get a better charge than that. All these other units were in the way. I didn't really set up. Okay. Put you guys into phalanx mode. What are you guys doing? I mean, if you really want to be cute here, I'll uh, I'll play game. Uh, I'll play ball with you. But it's not going to work out to your advantage. I promise you that. Alright. Go ahead and get this charge. This should route them. I'm a little too close, but... Yeah, they didn't really get their spears lowered properly. Come on, just die. You know you want to. Huh, I wonder if I didn't retrain those uh, Zeistophori. Quite possible. There we go, now they're routing. So you guys turn around and get these guys here. Alright, good. You just come back this way. You guys head around this way. Bring my archers right here. Get my general over this way as well. Okay, we're gonna set up and take this little clump out. Well, they routed on contact basically. Let's just chase them down. They're making this easy for me. Let's see what happened over here. Oh, we can still get center charging. Get out of the way! Oh my gosh, no way! My guys died charging into my friendly, uh, my allied pikemen here. Wow. You probably did more damage to me than their whole army did. Okay, not quite that much, but still. That was pointless. They still have one unit of Macaphora just sitting here. Like, I really don't know what's up with the AI right now. Like, it, it'll do stupid things occasionally, but this is just, like, buggy as crap for them. Alrighty. I guess we still have this unit here, don't we? They're pretty much getting slaughtered by my elite Thrakatai, but no point in just letting them die slowly. Let's speed it up. Okay, you guys head this way along with you. You guys stop and head this way as well. Let's take these guys out. Oh, they broke already before I could even charge. Alrighty. What's going on over here? Oh, those Greek heavy peltists went to fight the Macaphoroi. Oh, they must have been chasing down this routing unit. That's what's... That's what probably happened there. That might be where their general died, for all I know. No. You guys, stop. You guys, you set up right here. Oh, too late. Just kill him now.
All right, you guys head this way. Go back in a tight formation, please. We'll let my general chase that unit down while the rest of my heavy cab takes these guys out. Who are you fighting? Oh wow, I didn't even. They're fighting to the death too. Just get away. They'll they'll run away and break, and we'll chase them down. There we go, that's the battle. I will see you guys at the results screen here. Uh, that was pretty successful. Alright, that's that battle over. And 800, or, um, 1820 kills. I lost about 20% on my side, but a good bit of that was the uh, 175, or well, let's see. Yeah, they lost over a hundred men, the Ptolemies did, so. I lost quite a few as well, though, it looks like. I probably had some recover. Yeah, a few. Not as many as I'd like, but. We got Tarsus back, probably, so that's all that matters. Well, besides going and slaughtering the Selsid cities, but besides that, that's what matters. <sighs> okay. Yep, Tarsus will be mine at the beginning of this turn. We're just going to occupy it. So really, the city itself didn't get harmed at all by its, uh, Time under Seleucid control, so no harm, no foul, I guess. Hmm. Let's see. Eh, they didn't really even do anything while they were here, I don't think, either. So that's cool. Alrighty. Any memory of fleas? No duh. Made money, new family member, places built stuff, and rooms at worth Macedon. Hey, leave Macedon alone, Rome. Go do other things. Yeah, like I thought they're my allies. Leave them alone. Okay, so I now no longer have a garrison in Tarsus. You Seleucid bastards. But I guess I can use one or two of these units to do the job. So really quickly, let's slaughter this army here. It's gonna auto battle that. And we got a battlefield messenger. Very nice. Oh yeah, Heracles is pretty badass at this point. Apparently he's disloyal for whatever reason. <sighs> Some Epistates Comes, which is basically an uh, overseer. Oh, he's kind of like a governor. Regional governor. Sorry, just having fun looking at his traits here. Cool. So, let's send my spy back this way. Moving. <sighs> Okay, go ahead and enter here. 88% chance, alright. That's not bad. We're going to set up right about here. And assuming nothing else changes in the enemy disposition, we are going to try to take Hierapolis next turn. I really don't want to be expanding eastward right now, but the Seleucids are forcing my hand. Okay. You, 
you, you. Go to Tarsus. And now we're going to need a new governor. Oh yay, let's just train one of Antioch. Speaking of Antioch, oh, what do you want? Still need to be happier. Don't worry, be happy. Shrine of Hera. And I think this video has been going on for quite a while. I, I kind of lost track of time due to the uh, the interruption in the middle. But let's just build a few things and then we will end the turn. You know, I feel like we need to at least build a few forts just so we can say we did something that we said we were going to do along those lines. So fort here, we will leave. So two of you and one of you there. And the rest of you come this way. No more moves, sir. My lord. And we'll go ahead and make a fort right there. Build fort. My lord. Move out. My and we'll split we'll um we'll join them to this army here, but we'll just leave them there for now. We'll probably make one right here and one right here. And then we'll loop back up around here and make a few along this border but that should give us a bit more of a warning or at the very least a chance to take up any elephants they have if they bring any not really anything we can do with uh, catapults with the forts we have but that's you know it can't deal with everything okay well Thanks for watching everyone. We will continue to punish the Seleucids and maybe eventually start getting ready for a push against the Ptolemies next time. See ya.